Hey y'all, good morning and welcome back to my channel. So I'm on my second cup of coffee and I was watching a little TV just trying to wake up and get some energy going. And here is my girls. They are just getting up with me as well. They go to bed when we do and wake up when we do except for Miss Cannoli. She tries to wake me up at the crack of dawn but that ain't happening. But anyways, I just thought the girls looked so cute so I figured I would share that with y'all. And now that I've had my coffee, it's time to take the most amazing and delicious vitamin in the world. I'm showing you all the ingredients and the nutritional information in case you want to pause the video and read it, or you can just go check them out on their website. Each little pouch has eight gummy bears in them that are filled with pure goodness. And y'all, these are so delicious. It's ridiculous, but these are really good for you. They have everything you need inside those little gummy bears and they just taste so good. You will want to eat several packs of them. <laughs> All right, so I just got out of my pajamas and my house coat and put some clothes on so that I can start cleaning. So I'm gonna be honest, I have not been keeping up with my home lately. I haven't been cleaning a lot. Um, I'm just kind of going through something here, so that kind of affects me doing things like that. <laughs> um, but I wanna show you what my kitchen looks like right now. It's a little messy. And it's just like garbage that's sitting on the counter, but to me it feels traumatizing. Anyways, I'm going to show you what my apartment looks like and then we're going to start cleaning. As you can see here, it looks like a tornado blew through my apartment. I know it might not seem like super messy to others, but for me, this is pretty much like a little mini disaster. So the first thing I'm doing is taking this human size garbage bag and putting it in my garbage can. It obviously doesn't fit, but I'm just going to be putting it in there so I can start filling it up with garbage. I obviously have some here, but I also need to empty out my vacuum canister because it's been a while since I've done that. So let's get started with that first and then we'll start on some other things. So yeah, y'all know that I usually keep up with my place daily unless I just skip a day of cleaning or whatever, but I have been neglecting my home so bad and I absolutely hate it. Like I said, I was just kind of going through something so that makes me just not want to do anything. And honestly, that makes everything worse because clutter and mess honestly triggers my anxiety so bad. So neglecting to take care of my home only causes a bigger problem, but that's why I'm trying to tackle it today and think Thank God I had enough energy and motivation to get it done because it obviously really needed it. So I just got rid of all of the garbage that was on the counter, but I'm not going to be starting in the kitchen today. I just wanted to get that out of the way. And now I'm taking all of the blankets and pillows off of the couch so I can move the couch pieces and clean underneath them, which I'm going to do in just a bit. So I just moved some of the pieces of the couch and look at all of the little treasures I found. It's all of my girls' favorite toys. They always go underneath the couch. So they're gonna be so happy when they see all of these toys out and about. Nosy Rosie just came out of the bedroom to see what's going on. She's coming over. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What did you find? Look how dirty it was underneath my couch. That's exactly why I moved these pieces so I could clean underneath here. I'm gonna go ahead and dust the blinds first. I have looked all over for my extendable one that I got from Timu because that's my favorite one, but I have no clue what I did with it. So I'm just going to use the Swiffer one, which is just as good, but I can't reach as far. Never mind everything I just said because I just found my duster. <laughs> 
So yeah, before I start on the couch, I'm just dusting the blinds and then I'm gonna open up the blinds and clean the windows and the window sills as well. I'm using the glass foam cleaner to clean the windows. I love this stuff. It's so satisfying to use. I think just mostly because it's a foam cleaner. There's just something about a foam cleaner that I love. And the one I'm using is from HEB and I like this one, but the one I usually get from Walmart is my favorite, which is the Sprayway brand. So I don't know if you could see that white powder on the floor by the rug. That's actually baking soda. We had cleaned our rug a while back because our rug is all white and I'm actually super clumsy and I'm always spilling stuff on the rug, mostly coffee, which stains the rug so bad. So yeah, that's just leftover baking soda sitting on the floor, which obviously did not get vacuumed up. So I'm vacuuming the couch first with my handheld vacuum from Backlife and then I'm going to wipe it all down and put everything back where it belongs. Thank god I have my little vacuum charged because it is the easiest to use on the couch. It makes vacuuming the couch way faster for me because it's lightweight but it's powerful and it sucks up all of that cat hair which is mostly what is on the couch because of these little ragdoll cats I have. They shed all over. All right, so I just finished vacuuming the whole couch except for the ottoman. I'll do that in a minute, but I just filled a bucket up with some warm water and some Mr. Clean. I got a rag here, and I'm going to start scrubbing the couch. So now I'm cleaning off the TV with the foam glass cleaner and I'll be cleaning the TV table as well and then I'm gonna be vacuuming this area after. So before I put all of my blankets and pillows back on the couch, I'm going to spray it all down with the Dossier Floral Rose. I forget what perfume this is inspired by. I will have to put it on the screen somewhere, but the notes are Rose, Cinefolia, Human, Vetiver, Incense, Cedarwood, Musk, Citrus, and Amber. I'm in the mood for a rose type of scent in here today, so I'm going to use Floral Rose, and I might even use my Mrs. Myers Rose Spray as 
well, but I'm gonna go ahead and spray the pillows and the blankets down with this first. So the floral rose perfume from Dossier is inspired by La Labo's Fragrances Rose 31. The retail price of that actual perfume is $192 according to the Dossier website, but you can get Dossier's version which is non-toxic and cruelty free for only $39 and it's made with clean ingredients. Dossier perfumes are also colorant and UV filter free and paraben and phthalate free. I'll have them linked down below in the description if you want to check out their selection. And now I'm sweeping behind the couch because there was just so much dust and cat hair and litter all behind there. I felt like I needed to sweep it good first before I went straight in with the vacuum. So after I sweep a little, I'm gonna vacuum this area. Also, as you can see, the placemat I had sitting down there had water underneath it, which I did not know was happening. And that's from the cat's water fountain. They really love using the water fountain, but honestly, it's kind of messy because when they're drinking from it, they somehow splash it all over and I guess that was happening enough to get underneath the placemat which isn't really good for the flooring in here so I might need to find something else for them. Now I'm taking everything off the bookshelf so I can dust it and wipe the shelves down and then I'll put everything back in its place. So I wiped everything off good that usually sits on the bookshelf because it had a lot of dust and cat hair on it, but my camera ended up dying so I didn't get to film that or even film me putting everything back on the bookshelf. I'm thinking I need to get a new battery for my camera because no matter how long I charge it, it doesn't seem to hold a good charge for some reason. And that is not a fun thing to deal with when I'm in the middle of filming. I have to stop what I'm doing, plug up the battery, wait a few minutes, which isn't good because I'm always scared I'm going to get tired and lose my motivation, just to let it charge so I can continue filming. It's very aggravating. Louder whistling, no there is no cure in this together. So my battery ended up dying, so I just finished cleaning the bookshelf. I took some things off that needed to be put away, and then I reorganized everything. Did that all off camera. But I wanted to show you these wax melts we got from Walmart. It's from Better Homes and Gardens, and it comes in this little container here. They are so cute. They're like little individual wax melts. And this was only about three bucks. So we got the chill scented one. They come in wax melts. They also have diffusers and room sprays. This one smells really good though. It is flowering lavender, crushed thyme, white sage, cedarwood, amber, and, and tonka beans. I love that it has a little bee on it. It's so cute. I'm gonna put a couple in my wax warmer over here. And then I'm gonna start cleaning the rest of the apartment. All right, so now I'm gonna clean this little office area over here and I gotta move all of the girls' stuff first so I can vacuum the floor. This area looks so nice and clean without all of this stuff and the cat tunnels drive me nuts. It looks so much more messier in here with them but the girls literally love them so much and I just don't have the heart to put them away just yet. So I'm gonna leave them be for now just to make my babies happy. So I gotta tell y'all, I still haven't gotten a mop yet, so I'm using my wet vac today. This thing works great though. It's a vacuum and a mop all in one, and it gets the job done. It vacuums whatever is on the floor, whether it's dust, food, cat hair, litter, you name it, it sucks it right up and then mops the floor at the same time. It is awesome, but I haven't used it in a while. And the reason why I haven't is because I'm always forgetting to charge it like I do everything else but it did get a little bit of charge because I really needed to mop this floor. And then after that, I'm gonna clean my grandpa's table.
All right, somehow the kitchen has gotten worse. What is this? What is all of this? And I'm the one that has to deal with it. It's so overwhelming right now. There's like a million things sitting up here, but let's go ahead and get started with it. And now moving on to the kitchen, I'm just gonna get rid of all of the clutter that's on the counter first. Then I'm gonna unload the dishwasher, which I have been dreading. And then I'm gonna reload the dishwasher. As you can see, I was letting the dishes pile up and I hate that for me, but it is what it is. And then after that, I'm gonna wipe off the countertops. I'm also gonna clean out the sink, wipe off the cabinet doors, the icebox, the microwave, the oven, and all of that fun stuff. And then I'm gonna be using my wet vac afterwards on the kitchen floor as well. I know I should probably be embarrassed with the way my kitchen is looking right now, especially those dishes piled up, but I'd rather be truthful and honest with y'all. I'd rather you know that I'm just human and my life or home isn't always perfect or spotless. So yeah, maybe it's not something I should be showing, but at the same time, maybe it's not such a bad thing either. So I'm spraying the foam bathroom cleaner in my sink. Again, I like using foam cleaners because they are so satisfying to use. However, this bathroom cleaner is actually a really good product, especially for your bathtub and shower. It works quickly and cuts the scrubbing time in half, and it's only a few dollars at Walmart. It's the Walmart brand foam bathroom cleaner, and it's lemon scented. Also, I'm sure you've noticed by now, I am literally covered in cat hair, which I didn't even realize because I wasn't looking at myself or paying attention, but the shirt I'm wearing is covered in it, and it looks like there's a little cat hair fur ball on my butt too, which I didn't realize also until I was editing this video, which again, I should be embarrassed of, but I'm not because that's just what happens when you have three long-haired cats. Besides, it's not like I'm going anywhere. I was just cleaning, so it doesn't really matter.
So anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed this video and hopefully there won't be too much judgment for the state of my home. Like I said, I'm just kind of going through something and I just let it go. But I hope this video motivates you and encourages you to get up and do whatever it is you gotta do. Even if it's not today or tomorrow, just try your best to do what you can when you can. I promise you'll feel so much better after. I definitely did and I'm glad I got up and got all of this done today. Alrighty then, I guess I'll see y'all next time, but I want to say real quick, thanks so much for taking time out of your day to watch my video. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a like, and if you have anything to say, leave it down below.